dignity and bravery of Cicero says, We hate gladiators if they are quick to save their lives by any means. We favor them if they show contempt for their lives. Dean the Johnson's college classmates used to tell an embarrassing story about him. Johnson apparently had a big mouth and felt he had to constantly dominate and intimidate others. Yet his biographer Robert Carroll makes it clear that when someone stood up to young Lyndon, he proved himself to be a complete coward. In one instance, during an argument over a poker game, instead of fighting, Johnson threw himself on a bed and began kicking his feet in the air with a frantic, windmilling motion. Like a turtle, he shouted, If you hit me, I'll kick you. If you hit me, I'll kick you! Exclamation point. Later in his life, Johnson also worked extremely hard to avoid serving in World War I and lived at Eupine, California while other soldiers fought and died abroad. He later claimed to be a war hero. It was one of his most shameful lies. We do not need to disregard our physical safety or engage in wanton acts of violence to be brave. But nobody respects a coward. Nobody likes a shirker of duty. Nobody admires a person who puts too high a crochet on their own comfort and needs. That is the irony of cowardice. It's aimed at self-protection, but it creates shameful secrets. Self-preservation is hardly worth it because of everything it costs in return. Be brave. Be dignified.